Hello, and a big welcome back to all my subscribers. And if you're not a subscriber, what's wrong with you? I want to start today a new series on the RISC-V assembly programming. Now, I don't know RISC-V assembly programming, and so I'm going to teach myself how to do it. And so I just want you to do a video, I'll do a video for you to follow along and see how I'm learning uh, this new programming language. Now, to start learning RISC-V assembly programming, I decided to write a program. Normally when I'm writing, or sorry, learning a new programming language, I write a simple game or something similar. So, for instance, I did this in my video about learning Rust, which I'll link to somewhere. Uh, however, this time I chose not to write a game, but rather a utility. And the criteria was pretty simple. It had to take an argument from the command line and produce an output. I did consider writing a, a more complicated Space Invader type game, but I thought it would just be too in intricate to try and use something like NCurses library in assembly programming to move things around the screen. So, and I wanted to create a short series about just a simple utility uh, that I can expand on later. <coughs> But for now, that's the plan. Just a simple, um, easy utility. Now, in this video, the first thing I'm going to do is create a pseudocode design for this utility. And now, I previously shared a video about designing programs with pseudocode, and I'll link to that again somewhere. Uh, especially, um, you can work out the pseudocode before the implementation, which helps to structure the program and understand the programming flow. Um, so let me try and explain the purpose of the utility. But first, uh, I'm not sponsored for my videos and I don't have a Patreon account or any of that. So if you'd like to support the channel, please check out some of my books. I'm an author and you can get my books on Amazon or Apple or Kobo, etc. Or you can find links to my books in the publisher's website, xgipublishing.com. And you might like to check out my podcast, the Autodidactic Podcast, or my blog. Uh, all the links are in the description. But back to this utility program. The idea is to create a command line utility which, given a number, either decimal, binary, or hexadecimal, will convert that number into binary, decimal, and hexadecimal. So for example, if I give it the number FFH, it should print out 255 in decimal and display the number in binary and, uh, and FF in hexadecimal. So three lines of output for each input number, which having converted it to decimal, hexadecimal, and then binary. And then the functions I'm going to need are basically the entry point, or the main function, uh, a function to parse the command line and extract the number and whatever system it's using, hexadecimal, binary, etc. Uh, and then a function to convert the binary, decimal, or hexadecimal, an output function to print out the results, and an exit function and an error message function. Now, we could have multiple versions of the conversion or baseline everything by converting everything to binary, for example, and then using that as the common uh, number. Um, and although this program is theoretically straightforward, it is an assembly program, so I don't anticipate it being straightforward. Uh, there are additional features that could expand this program, like a switch on the command line to specify output, so minus H hexadecimal only. Um, but these are required changes to the parsing rules and I, I can expand on that later but I'll start out simply. Um, so that, that's pretty much it for the program overview. All we need to do now is just write it in pseudocode, list out the functions, uh, type out the pseudocode, uh, to try and work out the appropriate function calls within the main program, and then work out the program flow and just do all of this in pseudocode. So let's just flip over to that. I've done that here. I've got a function. I'm going to have a function called main, and it's just going to do three things. It's going to parse the command line to get the number that the user wants converted. It's going to output the result and then exit. Now, I don't call 
a conversion program here, I expect the output result to just do all of the conversions. So the first one is parse the command line. So read the command lines, see if it's hex, des, decimal, or binary. If there's an error, like they didn't put in, you know, a, a small h or a d for decimal or a b for binary, then we'll call an error message and just quit. Um, if it's binary, well then just return it because, you know, that just return because that's all we need. If it's hex, then convert it from hex to binary. If it's decimal, convert it from binary to decimal. And then it's going to call the output result. So the output result will take the binary, which it is regardless, uh, convert it to a string and print it, take the binary number, convert it to a hexadecimal string and print it, convert the binary to decimal and then print it and then return and then return just calls exit and just make a clean exit. Now at any point there's an error that just prints the relevant error message and then calls the exit program. So it's not, um, shouldn't be particularly difficult, although I suspect there will be things in here that, you know, won't be as easy as I anticipate. Um, but this is what I'm going to do in order to write and learn how to write uh, RISC assembly, RISC V assembly programming. So in the next video, I'll actually implement some of these things in assembly language and we'll try and look at them and run them and uh, see how we get on. It might series might finish in the next video or it might take me a long, long time. I will show you the problems I run up against, the issues I had, uh, my failures, uh, because generally when you get these things on YouTube, nobody ever shows you where it's gone wrong and it always goes wrong. So stick with me and like and subscribe and share it around and all that jazz and I will see you in the next video. Bye.